technology that was available only in the most expensive workstations. We're going to try to make it reinvent the technology and make it inexpensive. The killer app was video. NVIDIA has some of the most expensive GPUs ever, but they're also cutting down a lot of these GPUs, so you're getting a lot less for your money. We're going to talk about which GPUs are most highly affected and how you can be careful and make sure you're not getting a cut down GPU. After all, if you're paying more money, shouldn't you expect to get something that's going to be even better? But no, another thing that people don't know is that instead of raising the price even more, they start to take stuff out of these GPUs and its performance that could be hurting you, especially down the line with the resale value. RTX 4000 is not the first time Nvidia has done this. We can go back to the 1060. Remember there was a three gigabyte of VRAM version and a six gigabyte of VRAM? A lot of buyers had no idea what the difference would be, but in many games you would be severely limited and thus the resale value and the usability of that GPU over time was just not that good. If you guys like GPU that aren't cut down, remember to subscribe and smash that like button. So NVIDIA is back to that same behavior with RTX 4000, and by the end of the video, I think you guys are gonna be a lot more aware of what's going on. Let's start with the newest GPU that they released, the RTX 4070 Ti. Remember, this was supposed to be a 4080 12 gigabyte, which should make you feel even more embarrassed for NVIDIA. Imagine if this actually was a 4080. Ridiculous, we don't even have to look at the price. Looking at the specs, it has severe issues. A 4080 should be a high-end GPU. High-end to me means 4K. I'm going to grab this monitor here. You probably can't even see it. Probably going to even break the camera, but that's a 4K monitor. That's what you throw a high-end $800 GPU. Forget $800. It was 899 that Nvidia actually uh, launched it at. So now it's a 799 4070 Ti, but that doesn't make it any better. The first problem with it, they cut down the memory bus. It's only 192 bits and the memory bandwidth is a lot less, not to mention it, but well, it's actually half of the 4090, which is a significant amount, not to mention that it has 12 gigabytes of VRAM, also half of the 4090. You may be asking, oh, isn't 12 gigabytes of VRAM more than enough? Well, not really. I don't think so for a $799 card. I mean, this is 2023 now. Shouldn't NVIDIA be releasing a GPU that's this expensive? that can be future-proofed with 4K. I mean, I've been testing this GPU out myself and frames per second wise, yes, it can do 4K rather easily. You can do 4K 60 without any problems in many games. But the problem is when you start to turn on ultra and you start to turn on ray tracing like Nvidia wants you to, that memory bus starts to really handicap the performance at 4K. The bandwidth is just not enough to take care of the resolution. I had very Various stuttering issues that were not related to anything else in the system. 7950X CPU, 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, 144 hertz monitor. It was the 192 bit memory bus that was the issue. For some reason, it just couldn't give out the performance that you needed at 4K, which is Nvidia severely limiting the performance of this GPU. So people don't all go and buy it instead of a 4080. You may be saying, oh, didn't Nvidia say that this is supposed to be a 1440p 120 hertz GPU? Well, sure, they can say that, but are you going to accept it? If you're paying $800, do you want a GPU that can't do 4K? I really don't think so. Remember the 1080 Ti? That one was $699, and that was the GPU people used for 4K back then. Granted, there was no ray tracing, but it was still what you expected to be able to get into. So you're telling me if you want to do 4K, which a lot of people's TVs are nowadays, monitors are being 4K now at much better prices, you're going to have to pay for a 4080 or a 4090. That doesn't really seem that fair. The 4070 Ti should be able to do it without these little weird restrictions. And what's even worse, most consumers are not going to know that their $799 4070 Ti is going to be cut down, even if they casually play 4K. 
unless they're doing ray tracing, they may not know exactly what the problem is. And if they do get some stuttering or little micro problems, they're not going to know it's necessarily the memory bus. Who knows what a 192 bit memory bus is? You have to almost be like an NVIDIA engineer or somebody really into this stuff to really know what's going on. They're going to think it's their CPU, that maybe it's a driver. It's going to be an issue that people don't really know what's going on, but then they're going to be, you know, casually gaming without the best performance for what they paid for. And then I find it so funny that Nvidia tried to pass this off as a 4080. Imagine a 4080 that couldn't fully do 4K in 2023 for 899. Come on, even the AMD 7900 XT at 899 can do 4K much better than this GPU can. So that's something that Nvidia is not only raising the price, 3070 Ti had a price of 599 and it didn't seem nearly as cut down as this 4070 Ti is. Even though, yes, people compare the 4070 Ti to the 3090 Ti, but we need to sort of debunk that complete myth now. Yes, in rasterization, in many cases, 1440p, it does get pretty close to the 3090 Ti, especially if you turn on DLSS 3.0 or something like that. Of course, it's going to beat it in those games. It has an unfair advantage. And in other cases, ray tracing, things like that, even in some 4K, yes, it's going to get pretty close. But at the end of the day, you're not going to have the same gaming experience when that VRAM is really pushed to its limit, especially at 4K, something that you're going to do in a 3090 Ti. That was the highest end GPU. And then you're going to do on a 4070 Ti because you just spent over $800 on it. Why shouldn't it be able to do 4K? Why would Nvidia limit it so artificially? So then your gaming experience will not be the same. That's why I say they're not the same level of GPU. Aside from the fact you're not going to have 24 gigabytes of VRAM, you're only going to have 12, and that's going to be limited by the memory bandwidth, which you will see some stutters and issues if you really push those settings. And then you're going to have to hear people on Reddit and the internet telling you that you should be playing at 1440p and not 4K because that's what NVIDIA meant. But hey, NVIDIA still took your 800 bucks. You just can't fully do 4k that's the best example of what nvidia is doing of course when we look at the rtx 4090 oh it's a beautiful halo product right the specs are ridiculously you know it's over 16,000 cuda cores compared to 7,000 something for the 4070 ti 9,000 something for the 4080 everything on the 4090 seems absolutely perfect right chef's kiss everybody is super happy with it and then you get to the 4080 and of course it's still really expensive but even here nvidia cuts things down the memory bus is 256 bits you only get 16 gigabytes of vram compared to 20 on amd side for 899 and 999 also gets you 24 gigabytes of vram even though it's not as fast as the nvidia memory nvidia still cut it down because they don't want the 4080 to compete with the 4090 here i'm not gonna harp as much on the 4080 performance because i think for the efficiency aside from the price that's too high i do think it's a good gpu and you're going to have a really good performance on 4k a really good experience i don't think the memory bus issue is really going to surface in a, unless it's a very very particular use case on the 4080 so even though the 4080 is cut down that's more within like the realm of what you expect you don't expect it however on an expensive 4080 12 gigabyte aka 4070 Ti, that's where NVIDIA is trying to save money by giving you an expensive GPU, but still cut down features. Now, if a 4090 Ti comes out with like the full die and it's better in every way than a 4090, you expect that because it came out several months or a year after the 4090 and it's just evolution and things getting better. But NVIDIA with the 4070 Ti purposefully planned for it to be cut down. So you would want to have to go to a 4080 for better 4K performance or still have to pay the high price and be limited at 1440p for the 4070 Ti and it's still one of the most expensive you know 70 class GPUs that we've ever seen if not actually the most expensive the 3070 Ti was only 599 and this is a whopping 799 starting MSRP and then everything else goes up from there that's my problem with the 4070 Ti and of course other companies do this too Nvidia just doing this a lot 
more now that they think they have some type of really dominant market position and they can take advantage of what's going on. But if you buy a 4070 Ti, take a look at that VRAM. Make sure you're not going to be playing a game at 4K that you may want to max out. Your FPS may actually be reasonable, especially with the LSS, but you may be getting random stutters and maybe little micro problems that you can't explain because the memory bus is really severely limited. It's like a 3060 or something. Why would they do this? Of course, to cut their costs down, keep the prices high, and to limit the performance of this GPU just enough so you have to go up to the next GPU and spend even more money if you do want that next generation performance. So that's my opinion on it. Let me know what you guys think down below. Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.